In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle, Apostle Joshua, Joshua Selman of, of Eternity, Eternity Network, Network International as he takes you on a journey into, into the wisdom of God's Word. Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Keep praying. Shiba kota sita bala da bala. Dembro tu supra tu shapara ata bala. Rapa kota supra tiki di bala da bala. Lord, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, we'll never be the same. You are making mysteries out of us. Hallelujah. 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 I really want to commend our seriousness. When God calls you to dwell in his presence every day, it's because he's doing something in your life. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a few minutes. I just want to encourage us and then we will pray. Hallelujah. One of the... Please, those outside, make sure you participate. One of the killers of grace, one of the killers of impact, one of the killers of a life of color and beauty, is pride, vain glory. I have seen in my little life, I've seen people rise to the top and crash back. Hallelujah. One of the, one of the, the worst comments that can be made about a man is I remember the days when this person used to be mighty. There are pastors with those kinds of testimonies. I remember when the hand of God used to be upon my life. I remember when ministry used to expand. I taught a message, I think two or three years ago, called The Secret of Sustained Glory. Please, you can get it after the service and listen to it. There is nothing as ugly as tasting increase, greatness, honor, and crashing down and becoming a monument of warning to others and they say beware of so 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 person pride let me tell you something it's my personal opinion now sin is sin but if i were to arrange sin i consider pride to be worse than fornication hallelujah pride that, that mystery that has destroyed people. You see, let me tell you something. When God begins to lift you, Satan is not a fool. He will study your vulnerability. You are not given to women. Satan will not carry a lady and come and destroy you. He knows that you have built capacity to resist it. He will not use money. But he knows that enshrined in every man is the desire to receive the accolades of men and this is where the mighty fall. What a woman may not be able to do in the life of a man or, the, or a man as it is. What money may not be able to do. What persecution will not be able to do. You will stab yourself with pride. Vain glory. That affinity for the applause of men. And let me tell you something. God is speaking to us to warn us. I have seen people I have watched people. I have watched them nurture the seed of pride. I have watched them nurture it carefully to grow. The first sign that pride, pride is at work in your life is that submission becomes an embarrassment. To anybody, to anything, 
submission becomes an embarrassment it's a sign that you're already dying from pride not just submission to a man of god submission to principles oh everyone lift up your hands and you just stand and you're watching lift up your hands for what now eh the seed of pride submission thank you very important Galatians 5 26 we we'll just look at two scriptures I really want to challenge us on this because I have seen this thing kill people men women I've seen and you know the, the, the interesting thing about God is he gives you a measure of what he really intends giving you and watches your reaction and many of us shock God and shock ourselves with pride and arrogance let us not be desirous of vain glory vain glory vain glory and a sign that the desire of vain glory is at work in you is that you begin to provoke people you begin to envy vain glory you see there are two dimensions to pride i want us to pray against today the first dimension is we were discussing i think with Ejimi earlier on this morning and he was just asking me a few questions and we're really discussing very interesting discussion there are two dimensions to pride the first is the one you organize for yourself so i can sit down right now apostle joshua selman the great man of god and i find some of the leaders and some of the people pastor alpha pastor femi all the people and i say look create a scenario that drums my impact before everybody so it's arranged on purpose are we together now that's the first dimension of pride so whether it is by creating certain names or creating certain things you you create a system and that's not honor because i seek to use people to establish my relevance as against their own relevance now the second dimension of pride is where many of us are victims of and we don't know you may not create the seed but it is a desire you lost in your heart and the day someone else creates it you will jump at it hallelujah you will jump at it you may never ask anybody to open <laughs> look listen to me and learn and grow and walk in power someone may look at you and say ah um you may never tell anybody to call you great man of god but it's a desire in your heart and the day somebody says do you know you are such an awesome man you say what did you say can you repeat it again he only stimulated something that has been there waiting for occasion to find expression many of us think because we are not the ones arranging the scenario it means we are free from pride sometimes humility is it takes effort you must reject certain you must peg honor and say no this has come too far it must remain here by yourself i watch men of god on tv sadly i don't criticize men of god but i have watched people and i see like you pour cold water on a thirsty soul that's how they drink pride they drink it as members in you see honor has a boundary once you cross that boundary it no longer becomes honor the character of pride is that you find fault in the glory of others so the character of pride is everybody must be down for you to be satisfied if we are all lifted you are not satisfied because the goal of pride is to attempt to show the excellency of your stature as against somebody so pride does not um is not satisfied when you are lifted it checks if others are down when they are down then you are satisfied are you getting that now so if we say oh thank you pastor alpha thank you ebenezer thank you ejimi ebenezer gets angry and say no 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 if you had said thank you pastor alpha um but i'm disappointed in you ejimi you didn't do well but you are exceptional he says now you have honored me because you have honored me by contrasting others that's the spirit of pride so it wants to stand alone 
there are men of God who have created all kinds of theologies in their ministry to downplay any once they see an offshoot of true grace they strangle it with teachings they threaten people with causes because there is insecurity locked up in them hallelujah are we together now vain glory a lost for the praise of men it's amazing how we look for it we beg for it we organize programs for it we organize sons and daughters for it you see men of god running around can you make my birthday i mean make noise with it so t-shirt so ankara and put everything just make sure everybody around knows and we laugh it's a dangerous thing i always say this bless people and give them the option of appreciating you by themselves they will surprise you they will surprise you i run away from pride ego like a cancer there are men of god who do not see eyeball to eyeball because somebody was called mister by mistake i remember i think my people will bear me witness we went we were in um i think it was enugu towards the end of last year and i went to minister in a crusade there and it was a great meeting people came around and there was a gentleman i think he's a pastor pastor's son so they introduced him mistakenly they said brother so 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 and so i saw the way the guy moved you know with anger and insults to my grace you don't know who i am and he climbed up the stage and the first thing he said with look my name is pastor so 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 not brother so 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 and he challenged them to correct it and then the next thing he raised one song and said i hope there are ushers here because the power of god will start moving i just said ah yeah my brother you have done two mistakes one you have refused to recognize grace let me tell you when you enter a place where there is a higher grace if you don't if you don't honor it even your angelic activity will be seized there is ranking in the spirit that's why jesus looked for john the baptist who is the man with the mantle in the city and when he submitted and acknowledged him his own ministry opened up i said this boy is a very foolish boy you came and you saw pastors all over pastors you will not see you don't even know who they came to honor you don't know why they are there you see some of us are cheated because we don't know how to take advantage of opportunities god gives you a privilege to stand in the midst of people that you never would have had access to and you blew it because of pride god wants to announce your ministry and he gives you an opportunity to take offering in a church that on a good day you should not even be found in front and you come up and say i just want to let you know that my email address is uh, so 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 and so and so and i don't attend to calls anyhow in fact the way the ministry is growing now how many members 20 30 45 there's a young man i will not mention his name in the body of christ he had contact to Benny Him. Very small boy. Benny Him prophesied his birth. Many of you may know him. This little boy had unusual access. I saw the way Benny Him was lifting him because Benny Him took him like a son. Within weeks, his ministry exploded. And this guy would be arrogant on stage. Imagine sharing the stage with an authority like Benny Him. And one time I watched the guy. He was talking and he looked at Mike Mudok. He said, Get a pen, get a pen quickly. Get a pen and a book and i was watching him and he said write this it was an accurate prophecy but when he wrote everything i said this guy's grace has died he didn't reach one year have you not seen people rise up in the church i'm not going to mention names but you know people rise up and it's like god just withdraws the grace pride pride is dangerous dangerous and so that gentleman he said i hope they are ushers Please, I want you to station yourself, move around because the spirit of prophecy is upon me. I, I sang one song, sang another. The people were angry. They were tired. They came with hunger. You know, imagine that kind of thing. They gave him time. He obviously overshot the time and then he started prophesying. Now everybody lift up your hands. Right now the power of God will move. People waited five minutes. It's always pride leads to destruction, embarrassment and so on and so forth that guy did his best he may have seen grace walk in his church and he did not know the protocol of maintaining it god would have honored that guy in no small way if he allowed god to lift him 
and the guy got up and made noise and was challenging the people because they always would look for an excuse moved around one lady two ladies and he left with all kinds of disappointment back to his seat brothers and sisters at the end of that meeting this guy was shocked and he stood do you know it's painful when you make noise over something and it doesn't happen and somebody else comes and is so effortless the more it happens the more people say can you see this is what you would have been pride is dangerous is God speaking to us the Bible says when you enter a place sit at the back it's a principle when you enter a place let your work speak for you don't speak for it Proverbs 31 he said let her work speak for her at the gate you come around with one album and say I'm I'm, I'm an anointed I'm a psalmist I have my psalmist if you just give me five minutes I will I will surprise you in this church it's a sign that nobody is a testament of the transformation that has come from your grace but when you allow God lift you listen koinonia I'm teaching you something run away from the quest for vain glory sometimes men will try to do it stop it I was rebuking some of this my young people that I help at, at times I saw some of them and when I see them among their contemporaries I see them standing I say you are already learning this nonsense I remember someone here he, he used to be here I looked at him one day and I said come and stand here he came and I said you are soon going to fall I see pride eating you up like a cancer and he looked at me he said me I told him I said there are many things I don't claim to know but there are certain things I know I know when a man is about to fall you see there are some of you who will honor anybody above you but when you are among your contemporaries that's when the pride comes you are forced to honor someone above you because of solidarity but when you are among your contemporaries let the power of God begin to move in a meeting and you see the way men of God their body is itching for mic everybody wants to hold the mic when the service is over somebody comes to pick a mic and say hold on give me e we are, we are not done the, what God is doing here all those things we think there's a, there are signs of spiritual maturity there are signs of childishness childishness we went for a meeting in Yola we are going to pray it was a crusade in Yola and I was ministering alongside God's servant Dr. Paul and Enche. I know that that's a great man I've seen God honor me but that's a father in the faith God has lifted him I will not sit down and begin to compare my ministry and it will be stupidity of the highest order he's older than me God has honored him God has lifted him he has become a model to the body of Christ I know what many of us will do you will try to make sure you snap with him and say I've shared the stage with men like uh, so on and so forth and so forth and you you just sink yourself down. you can ask the protocol I remember his his head of protocol was communicating with Victor and he was excited about being my being around he had he heard about me and he wanted he wanted me to be there at the venue right he was actually coming for his own crusade dr. Paul and then he he was also to minister where I was ministering it was a campus crusade and this is what the protocol said the night I went for the meeting there the power of God was awesome I mean mighty things miracles upon miracles and I knew that the people respect me they respect me so much and if I came there together with Dr. Paul Enenche, they will want to honor Dr. Paul Enenche, but they will not want to dishonor me so they may try to create the same platform and I rejected I said I'm not going I said I'm not going for the meeting you can ask the head of protocol they said no 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 i should come around you'll be wonderful i said i am not going i told them we're not going anywhere let the servant of god receive the honor due his sacrifice we will come in the evening and finish the meeting many of you will not do that because you are looking for platform one day i went somewhere and one guy just came and stood near me like a thief that we should snap he's a pastor i was just looking at him because he will use my picture and take it to his ministry and say we ministered with men like uh, this person apostle was there and and think that snapping the picture is an endorsement of his ignorance and carelessness humility entails that you consciously reject certain things not every open door was opened by god 
you need to know if the timing is right to enter it hallelujah don't think because a door is open and you want to enter no sometimes god can say no your level has not gotten to this although the door is open stay quietly is god speaking to us this happens in every area of life that's why many of us will never rise there are ladies here you love god but the day god gives you an opportunity you'll be amazed at the pride and arrogance and god is watching how you are disqualifying yourself and allowing this ancient stumbling block of pride to stop you from stepping into the next level i fear pride i run from it hallelujah I, I can't remember where i was sharing this testimony about a woman who um carried something you know load and i saw her and i was in a hurry to help her carry the load no matter how i'm lifted i know that i'm not stupid not at all humility humility there are many of you if if you were the ones who were privileged to stand where i'm standing you see crowds of people inside and outside there will be one pa to clean your left shoe there will be another pa to clean your right shoe are we together there is the one who he will not just give you handkerchief you put your face like this and you will clean it that's what kills men years ago in your campus years ago many people who have been there long ago will tell you there were many pastors on campus ministry i mean somebody will have five members three pas two ladies one guy i want to go on tv ministry you see people holding box as if they are bankers what are they doing i am prophet this i am apostle this i am i remember one pastor came and met me and said man of god what is the, your grace you need to go on air go on radio many of those people some are not even in ministry till now some are still roaming around wondering what to do god himself opposes the proud but he gives grace to the humble I was counseling a gentleman maybe he's here with his mother and the mother said something and the boy just shouted at her ah my name is joshua selman i turned to that boy and i landed it on him i say apologize to mama immediately otherwise you have subtracted your years in life the bible says he that dishonored his father he said his candles will be his candle will be taken and will be left in obscurity honor humility hallelujah humility is god is my witness it's just that the protocol and all these people will never allow me i don't mind coming in the afternoon to clean the benches and do all the things i need to do it doesn't change me it doesn't change me true confidence is not in things around it's in who you are if i clean a chair today it does not make me less anointed listen god is speaking to us this is why some of us cannot be workers in the house of god because we think god has lifted me and people are aware that's the devil destroying you there are ladies today who cannot quietly sweep the house of god because they feel kind there is a man of god i met somewhere he's a pastor and he said he likes me and i'm already imagining myself as a mama let me tell you i know the end of that relationship nonsense let me just tell you in advance because god is not a fool he will not carry his servant that he has been laboring on and then attach you to kill his life i hate pride our daddy is here almost every time prof do you know that i'm even afraid I always tell him that when I grow up, I want to be like him. A man that is so fulfilled and yet very humble. There are all kinds of distinguished people here. Day before yesterday, or was it, I, I introduced um, um, Madam Ladi, and she was even quarreling me. She was saying, why did I expose her? There are lots of other people, distinguished people scattered. But there are people who will come and stand outside and say, tell the protocol I'm around. Who are you? My name is Pastor, Pastor um, Goodwill, something. 
Uh, so what? I mean, you can imagine. I came all the way from Kaduna. Let them know that I'm around and give you seat. The Lord told me, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. You know why some pastors will never have crowd? They can preach everything and criticize people who have pride. God knows. The moment they see crowd, the first thing in their mind is, how do I get lifted? If everybody gives me 10, 10,000, it's a lucrative business. If everybody does this and that, humility. By the grace of God Almighty, I never treat people and say, do you know I'm a man of God? No, it is, it is, this ministry is a call to serve. It's a privilege. I'm not embarrassed about it. I will say it all the time. It's a privilege to serve God. I was crying before the Lord today and I said, Lord, it's a privilege to serve. Never replace me with a stone. Never replace me. God has power to replace any man. I teach the leaders all the time. When we go for leaders meeting, the first thing I tell them is, guys, thank you so much. People look at Koinonia and they are looking at me. But you are the brains behind some of these things that we do. Do you have the humility to acknowledge the impute of others to your success? Or do you make it look like they played a little role, but after I fasted and prayed? No. I learn from everyone. Everyone. And I treat people with dignity and humility. Ask the protocol how many times I've rebuked them just for telling people at the back, shift, 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 apostle is coming. And I tell them, never do that. Never do that. I know you need organization. You don't come and push people and say, apostle is coming. So what? This is all of me. How, how big am I that you're asking everybody to shift? Can't I pass? Some of us are already enjoying it in our little fellowship. You say, when I'm coming, you are the one who announced my coming. You, you escort me. And I don't know where you are getting that mentorship from. It's most certainly not from me. I fear God and I've lived as transparent for you to see and learn. Many of us are learning nonsense. We just go to any meeting and we are watching out of all that God is doing. We are watching how ah, they gave the woman. Somebody came and just said, oh man of God. And you admire it. And in your mind, you are hoping in your own small fellowship too. People now come and say, you are standing. Kneel down. Kneel down. We are going to pray. Pride is a killer. I've seen people who, do you know there are people seated here? I know them. They are millionaires. But you see them keep quiet. You can match them and they won't say anything. But they are wealthy people. But there are others with nothing but noise. Yet it will make all kinds of noise. Let me tell you, great people have a track record of humility. That's why they became great. You may see certain people. There are great men and women of God. There are people, when I was coming in, I saw people, I was even saying, ah, this person is here. Great people just scattered inside and outside. But there are others. I am pastor this. I am Mrs. this. Please, we are going to pray. Brothers and sisters, I know this. In my little life, pride is a killer. Some of us cannot greet elderly people again. You see some of these are mothers and you just push them around. And bring a curse upon yourself and your ministry. Never listen to learn from anything. Oh, I think you should. I know. I know. I know. We are fumbling. I know. When learning becomes an embarrassment to you, pride is eating you up. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Breaks forth down fountains of the deep and weep, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, 
mighty on your throne mighty on your throne listen the antidote to pride is a public acknowledgement of the value and the impute of others you don't tear down the achievement of others to prove you are great that's why you will never hear me open my mouth and mention the name of a man of God or a church or a ministry and castigate them God is not just the God of koinonia there are many other men of God doing great things and when people start saying apostle you are the only one I say be silent I know that's the voice of pride that's the voice of a killer on his way to destroy me I'd like you to lift your voice and say Lord let it die let it die that affinity for the praise of men pray pray that affinity for the praise of men on the strength of my accomplishment on the strength of my accomplishment oh God I lay it down I lay it down I lay it down I lay it down pray pray that spirit of pride that affinity for the praise of men the praise of men the praise of men the praise of men hallelujah hallelujah one of one of the indices that to measure true humility is how much you acknowledge the impute of God in your success are we together because chances are that the truth is you have you you kept certain principles to get that result so that people can look at you and say Kai no 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 pastor alpha at this level you are already almost becoming a doctor and then a professor oh you are doing this I mean you can imagine and all of that is up to you to suddenly change to an usher and say there is one as you see me that's why you see when I go for meetings and the power of God is blessing people there are all kinds of reactions there are those putting their hands on their head what kind of man is this and I'm quick to tell them no what you see this is a puppet there is one behind me there is one who is responsible I don't say it indirectly I say it directly make no mistake there is one who can give and take the grace upon my life I am absolutely nothing koinonia is absolutely nothing thank God for the clap for Joshua Selman but I am telling you now that this man you are seeing is nothing without the grace and the wisdom of God I am not embarrassed I remember where God took me from from sitting in a gutter to study my Bible and see what God has done after many years I've still refused to be a fool I know that when you acknowledge God he will lift you I like you to say Lord in all my ways I will acknowledge you lift your voice and pray in all my ways in all my accomplishments in all my achievements pray in all my ways I acknowledge you in all my ways I acknowledge you when men try to blow the trumpet of me I direct it to you in all my ways I acknowledge you I will let men see how helpless I am outside of you those outside are you praying hallelujah you get to a point in your life two more prayer points and we're done this prayer point is strategic because in the next two minutes i want you to list everything in your life that looks like a trophy and say lord is because of you 
if i've never said it i'm saying it now lift your voice if i have a degree it's because of you if i have a phd it's because of you if i'm married it's because of you if i'm alive it's because of you if i am wealthy it's because of you lift your voice koinonia acknowledge him because of you you are my wisdom you are my wisdom you are my wisdom you are my wisdom the force behind this ministry lord we acknowledge you Lord, I acknowledge you.
shout it in the name of Jesus. I declare that I will let the world know. I will announce to creation that Jesus Christ is the reason for my greatness, for my anointing, for my exploit. And whenever I am tempted to take his glory, to be deceived by the accolades of men, I receive grace to reject the praises of men, to put a limit to the praises of men, that I may reveal Christ in my success, that I may reveal Christ in my lifting, that I may reveal Christ in my greatness. Listen, the purpose of your honor is to reveal Christ. The purpose of the miracles is to reveal Christ. If Christ is not revealed in your activities, you are arrogant. arrogant. Never trivialize the impute of Jesus Christ and say, well, I thank God for the grace of God, but I labored. Stay there and let men know he's the reason. I made up my mind that every time people clap to me, I say you are clapping for the wrong person. I'm telling you this and I say it with all my heart. That's why you don't see people say, oh God of Joshua Selman, what, what do, how, how many things can I do? Who can I help? I'm, I'm not against people who there is a place for that. But I'm telling you brothers and sisters, we are too young to begin to allow this foolishness destroy us. I'm telling you this. I speak to us specifically, the young people. We are too young to allow the foolishness of the praises of men destroy us we are to, i can clap for daddy we can clap for our mothers they have earned the right through time but a small boy just moving and people begin to blow your head is a way of death we are too young we have read revivals we have read history bible history and seen how pride destroyed men it was alexander the way that got to a point where he claimed he was Elijah. That's what pride can do to men. Please, from tonight, hear me. Pastors, business people, I'd like you to make up your mind. If there are a circle of singers and messengers that keep clapping and blowing your head, go back and tell them it's dissolved in Jesus' name. I love you. I thank you for honoring me. I receive the honor but let's bring it down to the limit of my level this honor is too much for the level i've not yet gone far you must have the grace to tell them they'll say no 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 daddy you need more tell them look if you call me father then honor me by doing what i'm telling you keep it that way there was a time i stopped the protocol because there were two protocol people carry, coming to, to take me i said this is nonsense please i'm not ready a particular pa of a notable man of god in this country one time a military man when he came for koinonia he was surprised he saw what god was doing and he said man of god you should not allow people to access you anyhow i mean this is terrible the, the grace they're abusing the grace they don't sow into your life they push you around people come and i i was hearing a sincere man but i was hearing the counsel of Ahitophel. sincere man the last time I heard about that man, physically speaking, he was doing well. But spiritually, he had died. Sleeping around, doing all kinds of things. That was the person who was advising me. Be careful whose advice you take. As you sit down discussing ministry, young people, hear me. As you sit down discussing life, and God begins to bless you, one million, two million, five million, it blows up your head. No. You must maintain a life of modesty and be temperate in all things. There is honor and stability when a man is humble. It's difficult to accuse a humble man. Pride, pride sponsors accusation. When people say things against you, your humility can bail you out. Hallelujah. Please lift up your requests and let's prophesy upon it if you have it if you don't have that's all right
for those of you who are just coming the Lord gave us an instruction and the instruction is that throughout this fasting period you write two sets of lists you've been hearing the amazing testimonies the first list is a list of your expectations you are holding on to the horns of the altar and praying and say Lord this is what I want to see happen on the positive the second part of the list represent your challenges the things that have mocked God in your life you write it and he said this Egyptians that you see you will see no more forever and the Lord said every day I should keep speaking speaking over it and on Friday prophetically we are going to set the list of those challenges on fire while it's burning we are going to lift up high praise the healer that praise that brought Jericho down please don't miss Friday Friday is like a miracle service plus invite everybody including your enemy we are going to burn these things while it is burning not before we are going to sing and jump before the God of heaven is called the healer is a mystery and let's see the devil that will tie your destiny and keep you there please remember that every day we are breaking with communion we are breaking with communion if you do not take my blood and my my flesh and my blood you have no part in me it's very important hallelujah praise the lord please lift it up to the god of heaven as we pray Ezekiah lifted the threat the threat and said oh god bow down your ears bow down your eyes and see this threat father you have instructed us and we are obedient i'm praying in the name that is above all names once again every challenge every altar listen i was speaking to a lady this this afternoon and her, her issue challenged me brothers and sisters there are altars that sponsor some of these pains we are going to judge it tonight lift lift up your in the name that is above all names every altar sponsored by the gates of hell that keep these challenges to be repeated in our lives it catches fire tonight in the name of jesus it catches fire tonight it catches fire tonight in the name of jesus every spirit entity every human entity responsible for your pain responsible for your setback responsible for your weakness responsible for your delay your joblessness in the name that is above all names we command the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment, sword of judgment. hallelujah after nine plagues Pharaoh refused that Israel will not go. There was a time he said you can go but leave your wives and your children. I like you. There's no negotiation in this fasting time. I can't go. My health cannot go and leave my finances behind. My, my finances cannot go and leave my marriage behind. In the name that is above all names. Every power. I say it again. Holding your marriage, your destiny, your business, in the name of Jesus, I set it on fire now. 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 Hallelujah. Every spirit that has tied down the joy of your family so that there is only sounds of mourning. There are families that never rejoice. They are crying all the time. I pray for you. Let the voice of the accuser be silenced by the blood. Be silenced by the blood. Be silenced by the blood. Hallelujah. The Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To put an end to it. Hallelujah. Everything on your list that you are trusting God for that must happen we are praying there is an energy there is an ability of the Holy Spirit that makes it happen 
no matter how impossible it is oh god that answers prayer i pray that this this request will be turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now hallelujah turned into testimonies i pray for you finally on that list tonight as you sleep as a token of victory i pray may god give you strange dreams and visions tonight as a token of victory i activate your spirit man to receive signals dreams visions dreams see your victory in your dreams see your victory in visions see your victory in your dreams hallelujah listen you will have strange dreams tonight you will see yourself receiving things as it happens in your dream it must appear in the physical as it happens in the spirit it must appear in the physical hallelujah there was one of our mothers here the boy is doing architecture now the boy came stubborn he smokes everything drinks everything the woman was tired of him and she kept coming with her heart open one day the fire of God fell upon that boy's head let me tell you when God locates you no, no devil no devil hallelujah you've once had the story of promise promise remember his story he shared it here he came to Zaria with dreadlocks dreadlocks locks Bob Marley dreadlocks and earrings that's what he came to Zaria with but when the fire fell see what the fire can do the fire can change anybody let me tell you something please add the list of your unsaved loved ones if you have not done so don't say God cannot change them who told you Saul was on his way to Damascus fire fell on him I like you to pray and say Lord anyone in my family who is not saved may fire fall on them this night lift your voice and pray one minute my father must be saved my mother must be saved an encounter an encounter an encounter an encounter give them dreams let them see jesus visions of heaven visions of hell give them encounters pray for your brother pray for your sister we snatch them from the hands of alcohol pornography immorality we snatch them from the gates of hell in the name of jesus we snatch them we release the convicting power of the holy ghost pray for your father pray for your mother hallelujah revelations 5 verse 12 we're rounding up please as you go back listen let's use this fasting period to pray for our loved ones don't complain about them there is a spirit making them behave the way they are behaving stop attacking individuals challenge those spirits wake up in the night don't just snore your way this is a period of spiritual awakening one o'clock two o'clock lake tebaratada knock the gates of heaven lord i i take this stubborn lady i bring her before the altar Liko tobakatata, and let the fire fall on them don't sit down and be discussing and say you see you need to stop following men that's not the way out solve the problem there are spirits that manipulate the destinies of men Revelations 5 verse 12 saying with a loud voice what is the lamb that was slain 
to receive what power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor the bible says by humility are riches and honor i prophesy to you in the name of jesus christ because of the spirit of humility upon you may the god that i serve lift you ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. where men have laughed at you and buried your case like lazarus we call that case out and we say it's the season of exaltation everything dying in your life i speak to it in this year of multiplied grace and influence rise to a new level rise to a new dimension prophetically rise to a new dimension spiritually rise to a new dimension financially rise to a new dimension hallelujah please sit down for one minute and have the prophetic focus for tomorrow it gets hotter by the day and i'm encouraging us please from tomorrow wednesday down till friday please don't miss the meetings again because it's going to be prophetic we have been establishing principles now from tomorrow we are going to be confronting things controlling spirits territorial powers are we together we are not just teaching principles again is rising hotter because there are entities who are alive and can hear us we need to force them to give way for the opening of our destiny so please please if you can invite your family members no even if they are stubborn just leave them they can be playing around just leave them there when the fire falls and that spirit that is responsible leaves them they will step into a new dimension hallelujah tomorrow the prophetic focus we are going to be praying the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers there is no man that can rise to any way of worth without a connection to another man the breakthrough of every man is in the hands of another man the employment of everybody is in the hands of somebody every billion that will come to your account is in somebody's account already it won't fall from heaven but there is a mystery that connects men write these two scriptures we have to pray please i'd like you to pay attention tomorrow by god's grace we'll give more time please those conducting when you come do everything you have to do fast so that we can have the prayer session and i want us to really stretch and pray because you need a man introduced in your life this week there is somebody that must appear to wipe your tears somebody shared with me a testimony today it is something i can't share here many of you will not even believe it a breakthrough god just brought somebody and just connected him i'm talking of multi millions just came like rain for doing nothing that's what the same way a wicked man can come into your life and not just subtract divide your life into two a lady was behaving well until a stupid boy came into her life and divided her life a gentleman was doing well until a very bad girl came into his life satan uses men to destroy men god uses men to build men are we together tomorrow we are going to also be seeing the prophetic implication of association please listen that you are not a true christian if it does not affect your association don't say i'm the only one the rest are drinking but i'm not taking it no if you are a child of god your atmosphere matters in your life please don't miss it there are people who must hear this message second samuel second samuel the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers second samuel 9 verse 1 to 11 you read there the story of Mephibosheth. Mark chapter 2. Those who will be leading it will expound on it. Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. 2 Samuel 9, verse 1 to 11. Please, we give this prophetic focus so that you can pray. Right? You pray. So beginning from tonight, when you go back, you begin to pray, Lord who are the men that must appear in my life 
as a sister you pray not just husband who are the people who must show up in my life there are some of us who have seen patterns in our lives the moment god is about to lift you certain people show up they call you former relationships how are you now can you come to judge you are we together and strange things happen and if god grants us grace either tomorrow or next we will consider unwanted partners wicked spirits that visit us we're not just talking of destiny helpers like just people coming there are destiny killers and we need to identify them and deal with them there are many people when god is about to lift you a strange man who claims he knows you comes to you in the dream sleeps with you or does all kinds of things and you get up somebody who was going to bless you will say i've changed my mind they told you it does not matter see what is happening in your life we are going to deal with it in the name of jesus by the grace of god we believe the full gospel in koinonia we will deal with everything that should be dealt with many ladies are under the trap of this thing i'm telling you it's just that we are not sincere in church so everybody will just claim they just say just act as if nothing is happening something is happening and there is a mystery to it hallelujah someone will ask you out about to marry you say let's go and see your parents that strange man comes in and say you are playing with me you wake up in the morning and the brother says i don't know what happened but something is convicting me that you're a wicked lady i don't want you whereas you're a kind beautiful nice worker in the house of god it's not just about saying god give me this give me that there are spirits strangers that come to connect us this is the mystery of things like fibroid this this demonic growth all over the bodies of people and if there is anybody here having anything planted in you i'm prophesying it before we close anything that is planted in your body that did not come from god in the name of jesus christ like dagon fell before the ark it must flush out of your body tonight i'm saying it again it must flush out of your body tonight every stranger who has planted any growth lump on your breast whatever it is around your body i just felt like doing this before we leave and in the name of jesus i'm saying it any growth around any part of your body from your head to your toe sponsored by any wicked stranger we judge it tonight in the name of jesus to pray in one minute and say Lord do not pass me by tonight I need a visitation I cry for a visitation I cry for a visitation give us a visitation oh God Give us a visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know that the presence of God is not just about the miracles that happen. Are you getting my point? There must be a visitation in your life. That visitation is superior to any miracle that can happen in this place tonight. 
that visitation let me tell you something is superior to any healing or any deliverance when God visits a man he can never be the same even if you do not know that you are supposed to change when God visits you not the hand of God the weight of God when he's Shekinah that weight when you have an encounter is greater than any miracle I'm telling you greater than any healing so you must desire an encounter tonight not just miracles not just breakthroughs an encounter say Lord take me to a higher level take me to a newer dimension not just a realm where I get sick and get healed take me higher there is more in God he said call unto me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things great and mighty things which thou knowest not there are great and mighty things that which no eye has seen that which no ear has heard hallelujah hallelujah my primary assignment tonight listen my primary assignment tonight is not just to pray for the sick it doesn't take God a big deal to get people healed and delivered and I I understand that there are so many people here with all kinds of burdens we called it a miracle service because we expect a visitation but let me tell you something if God does not have your heart you can be healed here tonight you can be delivered those demons will leave and re-enter back again are you getting my point now I want your experience tonight to be rich to be rich as we worship I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing let that be your prayer tonight Lord I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing listen listen there are many of us who have been oppressed by the devil because we have refused to let go everything that part that we have refused to give God is the part that has given Satan access in our lives you stop worrying when everything goes to God there are many people here who are dying of worry you die of worry because you think it's your own when you surrender everything let the owner take responsibility the Bible says you have been bought with a price that means everything about your life there are some of us worried no husband no wife why don't you leave the responsibility to the creator of your life and say Lord take it all this burden is too heavy for me I'm tired of worrying about things I cannot change therefore I give you everything take the marriage take the sickness take everything everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing withholding nothing we'll sing it without the instruments one more time from the depth of your heart I surrender all to you. It's not a special number, it's a prayer. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Take everything, oh God. 
were tired of taking responsibilities that are yours while you are so willing to help us many times we believe we're in control of our lives but tonight we repent withholding nothing withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone to our miracle service. We trust that God will do great things. It's always a privilege. I thank all who have come, so many inside and outside. The Lord will honor you. Many have traveled from far and near. You will surely have a visitation tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please go around and hug one another. See faces you have not seen before. Greet people and be back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen. Let me just have our attention. If you don't have a seat, don't worry. Please let no seat be empty. There are people standing outside. Let no seat at all be empty. Fill every seat everywhere. Please, those outside, some of you can come in. Fill. There is no reason why there should be seats. I don't care if it's reserved for who. There are seats all around. Please carry the seats. The people should not be standing. Come in. You are very welcome. Find a seat everywhere. If you can sit on the floor, sit on the floor. I'd rather sit on the floor and receive a tangible experience. Please feel every seat everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me, everyone. Let me tell you something. You can put the seats, please. Keep the seats. Everyone, come and just try to sit. Manage, push, squeeze yourselves. There are so many people than the auditorium. I very soon will be going back to CGC in the name of Jesus. It's bigger, it's better. There's a lot more space for more people to come in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you allow the Holy Spirit to influence your life, please listen. He will make you a sign and a wonder. Never forget this. The meeting has begun. If you can allow the Spirit of God to take over your life, listen, the Holy Spirit does not want a part of your life. The Holy Spirit does not just want your heart. Hallelujah. I did an illustration in just, and, and I'm going to do it again. Keep playing, please don't stop. Let me have four people, just four gentlemen. And let me show you how our relationship with the Spirit is. Many of us, come on now, any four people. Just stand, just stand this way. I want to show you tonight the secret of experiencing the presence of God and true spiritual power. I don't plan to teach for long and then we'll minister so that we can end very fast. If I have to teach tonight, we'll take the whole night. Watch this. Listen. When God created man, right? God created man such that, please never forget this illustration. If you are interested in walking in the spirit and walking in true power, ever increasing dimensions of God's power, you must understand what I'm sharing with you tonight. Hallelujah. This is the image of God. This 
this is a representation of priority towards the things of God. Hold it, sir. Just hold it this way. Now listen. This is man and all the things that look like priorities to him. Are you getting my point? Every time you stand before principalities and powers and you say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you, they will first check if they see that there is this priority and this passion. Hallelujah. Because it so happens that the, your hunger for God and your desire, your priority for him are you getting my point now? It's proportional to the dimension of his presence that you will see in your life. There are lots of people that can dress well. Just like some of you are sitting looking wonderful. And then you turn and tell demons, the Lord rebuke you. Go away, I cast that spirit. Or be healed. And these spirits look and they cannot see the priority of God in you. They see all kinds of, I'm sorry, all kinds of pretense. God is somewhere down the line among your activities. Are you getting my point? Maybe this one is your desire to be successful. Maybe this one is your desire to make money. This one is your desire to get married. And then God is somewhere down the line. Yet, you want to experience his power and his glory let me tell you, you can sing and say everything you want to say. Lord, you mean the world, you mean this and that. But until God becomes a priority, the moment God keeps stepping up, I tell you, you will become a dangerous wonder because his presence will not only mantle you, something will begin to happen to you that will rattle the gates of hell everywhere you go. The problem is many people love God but they are not passionate about God. They are born again, but God is not a priority. Are you getting my point now? How many of you know that I can love this lady, right? But she's not my wife. Is that true? So I love her, but that passion enough to say I want to spend my life with you. That's how many people are. Doing. So they say, Lord, I love you. But when you stand side by side with other things, I am not sure those, those things can go for you. And God says, yet you want my glory. Yet you want to see my manifest presence. There are many of us, it's money. Money is your first priority. Others is your quest for success. Other people is whatever kind of issue. Listen, when you come to a powerful meeting like this, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is not just to heal you. Are you getting me? As you begin to worship God, something happens in your spirit. Have you heard that song? Be magnified, oh Lord. This is what happens. So, in the heat of that worship, as your outer man is dying, there is a shifting in the spirit. Are you seeing that? God becomes a greater priority to you. So suddenly you leave that meeting with a greater passion. But as great as that passion is, it's still not enough. You begin to have encounters, dreams, visions. You begin to see the workings of the spirit in your life. But God looks and says, I'm still not seeing myself. Are you getting my point now? So every time Satan comes, this is what Jesus meant by Satan comes to me and did not find anything. That means before Satan attacks, he will check what in you belongs to me. That becomes his point of attachment to your life. Are you getting my point now? Then you come for another powerful meeting. And while you're singing and hearing the word and worshiping, you come to a point where you say, Kai, this is my hunger for marriage. Although it's an important thing, but you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. So you see that there is a transition. Hallelujah. At this point, you begin to see little signs and wonders here and there. God begins to trust you with certain levels of grace. But God still checks and says, I want to do more with you. You may even be ministry at this level. You may be healing the sick at this level. They may be calling you emoji 
apostle, prophet, pastor. You may be building churches and cathedrals, but God will say, if you know what I could do with you, if you know what I could do with you, you have 1,000, 5,000 members. If you know what I could do, I can give you an international anointing that can rattle territories. What is this one thing that you are keeping from me? What And, and you say, Lord, bless me. God says, I don't have a problem blessing you. Can I trust you? You say, yes. God says, where is the proof of the trust? I'm still not seeing myself in your life. And the more you climb, the harder it gets. Because the things that are closer to your heart are the idols. And then finally, after seasons of dealings with the spirit, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart Lord, I will bow, Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God, but you, Lord. Mm. And Lord, I will worship you, nothing hands have made. But you, Lord. Listen, when you get to this point, you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is what it means. Seek first his kingdom. Every time God sees you, he knows that you want to be rich. He knows that you want to finish your education. He knows that you want to get married. But you have said, Lord, as great as these things are, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. And you say, Lord, compared to marriage or compared to your presence, let money go compared to your presence let marriage go compared to everything at that point he has become king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer god will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable God will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace. And men will say, from whence cometh this? What we have never seen it in this fashion. But there are many of us. We want God to be somewhere in our lives. Please take seriously what I'm sharing tonight. You can go back there, sir. Many of us, God is number 70 something, not even number four. 70 something. There are so many things. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Heal me from the cancer. Do everything. Are they wrong? No. But every time God looks at you, he wants to see the priority. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many ministries. I was sharing with someone yesterday. And the person looked at me. And I said, today, there will be so many people coming from everywhere trusting and expecting that God is going to bless them. Hallelujah. The person saw how that people were ringing my phones, doing a lot of things. I was praying. I was spending time in God's presence. And I looked, I said, listen, there is a reason. And I learned that from God's servant, Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. I've shared the story with you people. When you get distracted, are you getting my point? And get carried away by ministry and all of these things the protocol people standing well the great man of God Joshua Selman coming to do his things those things are deceitful are you hearing what I'm saying they are deceitful that's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace enjoy the honor but never let it get inside you create a space that nothing can take belongs to God 
God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry. It's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week and say what happened. After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away. Even the anointing, listen, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life can become an idol. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The anointing has a compelling effect. When you are healing the sick, casting devils out and doing all of the great things, it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you. There are people tonight, you are not sick, but what you need is fresh fire because you started well. Please don't stop playing. You started well, but as you were going and God trusted you with little levels of grace and anointing, you didn't even know when you left God and started doing ministry. Tonight, you need restoration as a matter of urgency. Some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire. There are some of us here not only is God not a priority he's not even in the equation of our life you have never considered it a factor are you getting my point now many people run to God like an emergency unit in the hospital oh God the herbalist has failed since you are the only one left you better do something and you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah. He said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do? 
I am that I am. That's what God is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. But God is saying, you must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange. I taught us two weeks ago. You don't get nothing for nothing. That junk does not exist in the kingdom. There is always something. Your heart, your life. Hallelujah. Because there are so many of us, when we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry, and we honor God, you cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am. Let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand. And allow him do the things that he will. Tonight, God wants your heart. Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, it is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible. And see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil. Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There'll be miracles everywhere. There'll be miracles here tonight. There'll be miracles everywhere. Right now. Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There'll be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place? Happy and excited. Wow. It was great. Did you see the sick person? Did you see the deliverances? Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things and say lord i have come for business if you do not change me i will not be changed if you do not heal me i will not be healed but lord take my heart that's my message i've been ringing this for years the lord told me something years ago he said son if you can let men see me there is nothing i will not give you Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things. Don't get me wrong. We take time to celebrate what God is doing. 
We appreciate the wisdom and the excellence. We appreciate the presence and the leadership of the Spirit. But let me tell you, above and beyond this, our hearts. We are dead men. I can tell you this. We have given him everything. If God says this is the last miracle service, this is the last koinonia service, there is nothing left, no more koinonia. I will announce it to you as I've had it. I will join you crying. You will join me crying. We'll hold ourselves and walk out of this place. And I'll go back and say, thank you, Jesus. What do I do next? Do you love God that much? Can you lay down, in quote, the walls that you have spent years building at the request of God? Can you lay it down? You spent years going to school. At the end of it, God said, just keep it. And we'll take another turn. You say, God, no way. You don't treat me like that. I'm a smart Nigerian. There's a way I can walk. We can patch it up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you have, you have refused to get married. Because God has told you, that married man you are doing part-time relationship with, break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband. You are saying, oh Lord, who is going to take care of my needs? You are born again. But he is not a priority in your life. And then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come. And you cry in the name of Jesus. And the demons even help you to shout. He said, let me help you say it louder. And you are like, Jesus Christ, what is going on? The name of Jesus is only powerful when it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed. Hallelujah. Koinonia, listen to me. It is never my ambition. Please, I want you to hear this. It is never my ambition to remain, in quote, a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down. Here comes Joshua Selman, protocol leading him. And I come and I sit down. Wonderful. And the worship team sings. I told you, we, we taught on the ecclesia last week. And I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom. If all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising, then we are failures even if the world is clapping for us. The goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David. There is space for everybody in the world. Even if all of us become men of God, there are enough sinners to occupy everybody. There are enough sick people to occupy everybody. But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result. Because you see rows of first class students. Genuine first class students. And you are wondering. And Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? Give me that certificate. And see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings, there will be constraints. It's not going to be a landslide movement. But if you can wait, you will rise like the eagle. And you will astonish men. Lord, we want to see your power and your glory in our lives. And so we seek you. If God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No godfather can give you. 
if God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head tonight God is calling on us everybody listen to me inside and outside would you make God a priority win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority what is it that has taken his place? I know you are sick in your body. But tonight, there are women here, there are mothers, there are people here. Fathers, you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession has nothing to do with ministry you love God but if that guy should stand side by side with God you will choose him hallelujah I want you to see the power of God we are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship and we just let God, I tell you, there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this. There will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you G, where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something. Sociology something something. This and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough. And then you return him back. Tonight, may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay. Defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? 
and you dragged yourself here and said well lord let's see what happens i tell you you are in for a shock tonight god will beat you above and beyond your expectation in the mighty name of jesus christ bless you guys rise up on your feet everybody we are going to pray just two prayer points and then we'll worship lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy take everything oh god come on pray now everybody take everything take everything my life belongs to you take the talent oh god Take the talent, take the gift, take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. hallelujah i'm going to make a very serious altar call right now i don't want you to sit down thinking about it because i know there are people there are people here tonight inside and outside probably you followed someone and you came probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease the doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to leave it all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you're a pastor, whether you're a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's all right. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight those two categories of people as i as i count one to ten i like you to run like you're running away from fire right now inside and outside one two run like you are running for escape run like like there is fire burning and it's a matter of urgency forget about your friends Forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you. This is the key to a glorious destiny. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight everything I give to you withholding nothing don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out God is still telling me that he's talking to people God is still speaking to people many people inside many people outside forget about your friend this is a destiny decision 
I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here, yeah, begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. With holding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. With holding nothing. With holding nothing. Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to. Those of you in front. Will you give your life away? So he can use you. Will you give your life away? Will you give your life away? So he can use me. Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So he. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on worship with me Hallelujah You've won it all for me You have won it all for me just that part, one more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. Your hands those of you in front i'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time i don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift 
of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you. I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you. The righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick. I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So, please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them, be fast with them, so that they can return back. Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion. Um, protocol and ushers, please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension.
Aleluya. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's walk together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the year. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, for my eyes have seen the King. He's the Lamb upon the throne, the Lamb upon the throne, who reigns for Please everyone lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen please. The spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord. Please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands, my God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, teketa, no kete. Lekete rebos outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, O oh God. 
separate them, oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now like a tornado. Outside, outside, there are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the coal from the throne. Let the coal from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back. The overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up yeah. to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences. Right now, vision, vision. One, two, three, take it, take it. Vision, vision, take it, take it. Vision, I open up prophetic realms. Take it, take it. Vision, vision, vision. Step into realms. Of vision, prophecy, vision, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it, take it, baba. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row, now, now, this row. Take it, 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 take it now. There's an army rising up. 
There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. A protoscope break it, break it. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposcate it. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. They will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 Delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits 
that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now i call spirits i call spirits marital delay i call spirits every marital delay i cause you I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go! Let her go now. Go! Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is stand, lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who broke?
brought her. What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does like this. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. 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 Kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out. Out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you. Every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Liver, stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost.
Alléluia. Madame, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic. So everybody that seems to reveal something, people just think that, ah, this person has done this and that. Are you getting my point now? I must not... See, God must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered. I hope you know that. The word of God is potent enough to deliver the person. You understand? But God does these things as a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. The family is about to be delivered right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A family is about to be delivered right now. Be delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chain. Two of you come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss? You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you. Suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Our uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. True. There's everybody. It's not like every... This is death. This is delay marriage. La Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me, do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving, something's changing. See feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, sign up. It's time for God to step into your family. Run and come. See, I don't need to call you. Just connect by faith. God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. 
Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Canada. What? A man in Canada. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality, lost, and every related thing I cause you, be free. My God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus' name. Why are you here? Why are they here? What next? Eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? God is visiting your family. Out! There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy. It's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her at the same time. 
to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes it's the same thing that is happening to her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Outside, I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, all the children that have been buried, the blood, Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! Bring them out! Bring them out! Deliverance! Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance! Massive deliverance! Now, now, I'm seeing snakes, I'm seeing snakes, all kinds of snakes, all kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now, they catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won
everyone who is sick lay your hands there right now for time's sake we may not have everyone come out but lay your hands something miraculous will happen in this place right now wherever you are lay your hands some you're laying your hands but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what god is doing who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my god has not established hallelujah lay your hands now and while jesus was teaching the power of god was present to heal the bible says and when the evening was come they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as i begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus
there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach I caused that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil I don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the Lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from November last year you don't need to come out from November last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the Lord Jesus I restore order to your body now I restore order the power of God is moving to this effect I restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed I give you the praise Lord a toothache tooth problem serious tooth problem the Lord is healing it right now right now right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus worship rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid oh, healing rain the is falling Jesus. down healing rain Who brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like you're past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. 
Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving the miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? As God healed you, Daddy. God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October, they would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given. So all earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at. He's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come and walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him. your mom 
Mommy, where are you? Where's the mommy? Faith's mother. Where's Mama Faith? Come. I need to destroy death from your family. There is a serious yoke of death. Bring your sister. You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? Husband is dead. Husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now. Together with the leg issue, your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the Spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit they have finished this girl since last year this girl you are seeing Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life Jesus said it is there anything too hard for me to do I am there I am 
father change this girl's story I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ out now out now out now in the name of Jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death i command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free Set her free in the name of Jesus. Free. Free.
out. You do wonders in darkness. Yes, you do wonders in darkness. Cause you're a faithful God. Hallelujah. voice is saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are i think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Wash it. Too. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the version. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now?
Aleluya. 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 Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. O tu akachi neke. Not by force. Sam is not around. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say, be healed now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. T 
teach me how to hold though. Before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place. Stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagata bed. Rete le banda brandos ko parada balata skepetikata. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level, and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it, myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please. Let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell. Name of the Lord Jesus. Everything that makes your brain dull. We command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Setete pakatala baba 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 baba. Ratete brende kepele kotosh. Baby, grow in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with God here you know that you are trusting God to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games I am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom, we will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year that God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that i'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three
free right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Raka tana rara basi te bale bondo braga la la varia rara baka sanda raba ligede. Riha tasa para bako dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni rara da. Inde raka tada bato para raka de bale brega la la varia rara do varia. Rako to paya raka tali rara bara bara bara. Inde brega lele bondo braga do bale brega la la bara kada. Raka taya rara la 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 bara 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 bara. Raka la bara 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 bara. Inda raka tala bara pata la bara bara. Rakta ta ba ha cha para ba da, rakka ta li ba ra ba 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 ba. Enda reke le 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 ba kosi ba la ba da. Rapa to sali etando ho, imanda katoja ila, barus ali atando, igaboja ila, raunda as ila palierno, resula atalia, rusa indo ko, iamba uada, wabula ada yondelu. Riyula, huwa chakayuna ma, huwa duya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragala, Rusia la, makondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. 
dead spiritual lives, let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families. In the blessed name of Jesus, we speak to barren cases, family challenges. In the name of Jesus, it ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha! Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones, fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God, bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha! Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. The Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory for every prayer point here, Lord. It receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray and the church of God says, Hallelujah! As God's servant has prayed, we convert this prayer request to testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please everybody stand. Inside and outside. Please rise. Something must change in your life right now. And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life break through now receive breakthrough now every limit every limit I smash it in the name of Jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command 
every scourging tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness Rekoto Sekete Reposko Pronto Shabbat And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the axe head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows 
and the bible says esther went in and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Genesis 24 verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed him in all things. How many things? How many things? Every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing. The Bible says Naaman, 2 Kings 5, was the captain of the Syrian army. He was a mighty man. The Bible says, but he was crippled. I pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of God, let that area of your life receive that divine touch now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, is there hope for a tree, although it be cut down? It said, at the scent of water. At the scent of water. Everything in your life that has gone down, that you're asking, can God take me back to this level again? Some of you are asking, can I go back to the level of anointing I used to function in again? Can God take me to that level of grace again? my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face before you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus.